Hey, hi everyone. Welcome back to our next uh, session on Confluence. So today we are going to cover one of the interesting macro, a feature within Confluence, which is roadmap. Right, uh, we might have seen people creating roadmaps and uh, using PPT, presentation PowerPoint, right? And some of them I've seen even using uh, Excel for that, right? So, however, in Confluence, we already have a macro that enables us to show a beautiful pictorial representation of the roadmap, right? And you might be wondering what this, what a roadmap is, right? A roadmap is a kind of a strategic plan that defines a goal or desired outcome and includes the major steps or milestone needed to, uh, to reach it, right? So that means it just gives you and uh, I would say a pictorial representation as on according like if you want to map the milestones with the strategies that you have developed right you can easily create uh, a bars indicating um, uh, i would say maybe a project that's going to deliver a particular milestone right and uh, maybe a particular project that will be delivering a milestone to achieve a particular strategic plan some that uh, has been developed by the program right? or something from that particular perspective right and how we can do this all right so right so this is something i would say we can achieve it via uh, confluence and uh, within confluence there is some additional feature which is uh, i would say which is something very unique about it right and uh, probably if I, while i show you the demo i will explain you what is unique about it Right, so that we'll just cover that part. So, as an example, what we are going to do is we are going to create a roadmap, right, at the program level, where we have some strategies defined. It is just for as from an example perspective, I've just randomly selected just uh, from my mind. I've created some strategies, and and those strategies uh, will be aligning them to the projects. Right, so that means these projects are gonna deliver us deliver an output, which benefits. I would say the benefits are aligned to the strategies that have been developed that had been. I would say um, that have been recorded over here. Right, so what we're gonna do? We are going to create a roadmap, right, where we are going to list the strategies and as well as the projects that we are going to deliver to achieve the goal that is i mean i would say an outcome for that particular strategy right and when i say uh, we are going to map on the project that means we're going to uh, show um, the duration of that particular project right which gives an understanding to the management as well as any stakeholder who visits that particular page and says okay this is the strategy this is the outcome that we want to achieve and to achieve this we have these many projects and these projects are being delivered maybe from june to august 2020 and the second project is gonna get uh, delivered from 2020 20 of july to december so that means december is uh, the end point where we'll be delivering the benefit which is an outcome for this particular uh, where we are trying to achieve something from this uh, strategical perspective okay so let's get started with the demo Again, we will be going back to, okay, so this is our confidence space. We are uh, under uh, the consolidated view. So if you might have noticed, okay, we have this, we have these strategies and these, these projects which are running to achieve this and the pro duration of these, uh, uh, I would say the project or maybe to achieve this particular uh, strategy is um, Jan 2020 to July 2020, something like that, right? So, so let's get started. Let's uh, create. Uh, um, okay, so let's create a roadmap. Okay, so let's open up a page. Okay, I'll just show an example. This is how the roadmap looks like. I've uh, so I've just to uh, for uh, demonstration demonstration perspective, I've just created roadmaps within the projects because even this can be used for projects as well. 
and you see how beautifully it lists uh, all of the different uh, tasks within these months too. I would say this is the phases of the project and when are these going to be delivered, right? So let's let's start uh, uh, creating the roadmap. Okay, I will just edit this particular page. Okay, and uh, so we need to create a roadmap underneath this heading right so we go to insert content view macro roadmap roadmap planner and here we go okay right so uh, let's uh, so the first is engage with your learners online so right this is some of the random strategies and the projects that i've taken right so it's just for demonstration perspective and okay so let's uh, add one more so these are called lanes and these are called bars and these are the markers okay so let's uh, try to edit third one is make uh, e-learning uh, content yeah okay so attempts it, it, it attempts it happens right so i'll just paste it save Okay, it's this internet connection and it's slow. It's quite it becomes quite difficult to edit at point one point of time. Okay. Okay, so um, I'm just adding the what we are gonna achieve in all of these lanes. Okay, e-learning content mobile. So e-learning content mobile. Edit. Paste. Save and similarly what is this supportive learning environment let's take this go over here edit and the first lane is engagement great and what we are doing we are so abc project edit abc and this ABC project spans from Jan 2020 to July 2020. So, okay, so here is where, so that to view, there are different views we can create. We can go on a weekly basis, which uh, lists on, um, like we can create our maps based on weeks and we can create one months as well. So over here, we are gonna work on months. So we have a range, which is from Jan 2020 to uh, Jan 2021. So let's uh, Jan 2020. Okay. 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 Great. Let's move this Jan 2020 to in this last till July 2020. That's the duration of it. Okay. So we'll move it to July. And great. And uh, next is uh, create a supportive learning environment. For this, we are we have this project which is uh, delivering, uh, which is aligning to this particular strategy, organization strategy, right? So X Y Z. This is X Y Z, and that is from Feb to September. Great. So it's quite easy to move around, and here we have Feb to September, and we can just expand these. Great, and then we have. Uh, CDE which is July to December so to add we can click on this and we click on add bar okay and that's your uh, CDE and that's uh, July to December so just drag it expand it till December Okay, and the next one is uh, we are uh, okay. This is something we are yet to plan, so I'll just put a random uh, maybe. Uh, let's put it as TBD to be determined, and uh, this is uh, somewhere in Jan 21 that we are planning to initiate, and maybe to this is Sam I'm putting something over here. And so this is how it is, and we can add as many as as many marker that we want to and delete it. So probably we are in July at the moment. 
okay so we can just edit as as i can mention this as today so today is uh, we are in the month of july and we see we have delivered uh, so this is what half of it we are supposed to deliver now we have 75 percent of it and maybe 60 percent of his of xyz was to be delivered right and we can this is not required we can remove it and similarly if you have multiple projects which are aligned to the uh, which are which are strategic alignment to this particular the strategy that we are working at so you can add more bars as well like this and you can just move around you can create multiple right so that's the best part of it i'll delete it for now and we have created our uh, okay so we have created roadmap we click on insert at the bottom and here we go this is a beautiful i would say roadmap that we have created and let's publish our page and see how it looks like and wow great this is great right so so we can see how beautiful it has come up and the best part the unique part that i was mentioning about uh, these roadmaps uh, this particular roadmap in confluence is for example to achieve this the this project is aligned for this particular engagement strategy that we are trying to um, get out of it, improve out of it, right? So we can, if someone, maybe someone wants to see, okay, this is an ABC project which has been delivered as part of this alignment. Right? How we can, if we want to see more about ABC, right? So what's happening within this project XYZ, right? So what we can do is we have something called as link. So we can link our project pages to these bars so what happens by then is so for example I come over here I say link and I just put it as ABC uh, uh, road project ABC road map I have link to it and someone comes over here and say okay ABC what's what's going on with it they and they get this link they click on it and it takes them to project ABC roadmap page where they can see what's at what's actually going on with that particular project right isn't that pretty cool right we so far we have seen just the roadmaps being created in uh, presentations PPTs right but this confluence provides us with flexibility of how we can link our pages to these I would say these bars, the project bars that we have created, which helps us to navigate between different pages too. So we see something, okay, this is in a high level view. If you want to go into details, I just click on a page. We can just link any page over here, which takes us to the chart, maybe a different page where we have more information about this particular project, maybe your status of this particular project, right? To see more information about it, right? So that that's how it's, 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 it has a good benefit altogether. And definitely the, uh, the view of it and is is uh, the view of it is already great, right? You might have seen that it has various benefits, right? If if you if you are into creating roadmaps, and so I would say this is a a great uh, macro as all as such provided by Confluence, right? Which uh, gives us a very good view of uh, the entire roadmap. And also with the flexibility of uh, linking different pages to this, uh, I would say the bars that we have created. Um, so it's, it's quite helpful from that particular perspective. And so that's all for this roadmap macro. And I hope you like this video. Kindly share your feedback. Do like my channel. And if you have any queries, and so do uh, comment on uh, my videos uh, so that I, we can, I can just uh, post something to address your queries or maybe reply back to your queries within uh, YouTube itself. Thank you so much. Have a wonderful day ahead.